My name is James Faulkner, the news reporter and anchor at Pure Country 99.5 and Big Dog 100.9. For me, it's anxiety, uh, mostly social anxiety, and just how that affects my daily life, um, from my work to home to everything. It's isolation that really helps me when, uh, on days when I'm struggling. It's just taking the time to collect myself, I think, is probably the best way to put it. Um, whether it's something at work, um, maybe doing an interview with someone, or having to make a phone call where I know that if I just pick up the phone and dial a number or approach someone at a media event, um, that's all it will take and I, I can, you know, do whatever the task is and it's, it's trying to push through that. So it's just being able to, in those situations, being able to step back and, as I said, just collect myself and, you know, work through um, that, that particular anxiety. It may take a bit of time. Um, when it's a social situation, um, whether it's friends inviting me to an event um, where I know once I get there, I'll be okay, it's just trying to get myself out of the house in some situations. Um, last year, I was lucky enough to be asked to host the uh, Walk Tall for Mental Health event. And driving to the event, I had no idea what I was going to say. It was trying to work through my own anxiety and issues while at the same time knowing I'm going to be up on stage by myself. Um, I decided to open up about this for the first time to anyone um, on stage, which may not have been the smartest play, but um, it, uh, it certainly helped. Um, and yeah, when it, when it comes to the social situations, it's, it's like my brain is doing a good cop, bad cop to tell me why I shouldn't be doing things. Um, and it's working through that to know that, yeah, you know, these are people that um, I like being around, that obviously like me, um, that, you know, if I go to this, I will enjoy myself, um, and trying not to keep that isolation um, and put myself in a situation where I have to kind of push myself a little bit to try and and work through it um, personally. I think that if, if you don't do that, it's a lot harder to, to try and overcome them. Um, I mean, full disclosure, I work for a Bell Media company, so we do the Let's Talk campaign. Um, and whatever you're feeling on that is, um, I found that when it first started, it helped just to hear that I wasn't alone. I mean, you, you know you're not. You know that a lot of people suffer from uh, mental health issues, certainly to different degrees, and you know, there's a wide variety of, of different problems and issues, um, even the, the sick, not weak campaign. But just hearing other people talk about their issues, what they go through to, to work through them, how it affects their daily lives, um, that really helped me to put everything into perspective and start thinking about what I can do to go through um, my own uh, problems and hopefully, you know, get to a, a better place mentally as well. Um, yeah, the, the Walk Tall for Mental Health event um, last year, first time it had been done in the area and was fantastic. The, the turnout for the first year was great. And as I said, I, I opened up for the first time to anybody about my, uh, my issues and through the course of probably three or four months afterwards I would be at the mall and have someone come up to me and say thank you for for doing it which number one blew me away um, I couldn't believe that you know someone would, uh, would find what I talked about you know take it to heart that much um, and it, it really kind of let me know that you know talking about this is the best thing you can do, whether, you know, I don't want to say normalizing it, that kind of seems a little dismissive, but um, just being able to tell your story can make a difference to someone, whether that's, you know, one person, 10 or more. Um, you know, we all have mental health 
you know, the vast majority have an issue of some kind. And just knowing that you're not alone, you're not weak for having it, um, makes a difference.